Remember how we did this? How did we do it? Indian style, not the black stuff. Don't take off gas. No, I'm trying to. What do you think? No, not there, down here. Underneath, right there. You get there? No, I'm not gonna go fast. Okay, go. <laughs> What's a moped? A moped, by definition, has to have 16 inch wheels. It has to be at least 50 cc's, or no, actually under 50 cc's. Um, can't exceed two horsepower braking power. And uh, you have to be at least 16 years older with a valid driver's license to ride. As well as fully operable pedals. Um, like a bicycle, you can pedal it over. And the wheel turns and it goes um, at some point when you're pedaling you can engage the motor to start and uh, it'll fire up the very first mopeds were or the very first motorcycles even were were literally a moped where they took um, back in the early or the late 1800s and the early 1900s um, they took bicycles and they put motors on them and so they had pedals and they would pedal them to start them and they would ride them and then pedal them and it would work and uh, work together to ride the bike and there's all sorts of races around Seattle even in the early 1910s with uh, with the very basic mopeds and then in the 70s it came back just for fuel economy because it's such a simple design Mopeds are way more fun than motorcycles and scooters. Thanks, Brendan. We sure appreciate all that 411. Now, let's move on. This next segment all took place in Ballard. It's the first day of the Moped Rally, Blood Drive 3, that is. And by the way, my name is Papa, Papa Willie. Willie. Mosquito fleet, when did it start? This guy, man. <laughs> uh, no, really. You should get this guy. Oh. Uh, it Kevin? started in, well, I guess three and a half years ago, something like that. I don't know what year that was, 2002. How long have you been in the uh, Mosquito Fleet? Uh, I've been in there since 2002. Back then, <clears throat> now it's like time, I mean, now things have changed. Like, then you used to like, got a moped, you ride the ride of the moped arm and ride with the Mosquito Fleet for about uh, a month. And then you were, then you were in. Um, showing up to Moped Mondays and whatever. And then now it's changed, now it's a lot harder. Now you have to be, uh, Riding, coming around for three months, and then you have to get sponsored by someone. That's how you get in now. I'm pledging right now. <laughs> what does that usually involve? Yeah. Um, basically, you have to. I'm gonna write your name on the cover of my book. Just like work on your moped and be kind of active for three months and go to all the events, and especially like the first Monday of every month. So. Okay. Hey, she's she's not a real member. I'm not even a member yet. We think they might be trying to infiltrate the Moped Army and convert everyone to Scientology. And their bikes seem to run a lot faster and they're tuned up better, so I don't know if there's any, any truth it's to like it or not. a serious concern? Yeah, personally. yeah, I think so. So, I mean, I wouldn't talk to me about it, but I'm just suggesting you interview some of the Tom Cruisers and ask them, play the Scientology angle and see if they go nuts and start 
yelling and, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm just suggesting this as an idea for you. I was wondering, is it Tom Cruiser's, like, anything to do with the Scientology? No. Fuck that. No, it's more the, the Top Gun. Okay. Basically, you got to uh, just yeah. the Tom Cruiser. No, nothing to do with Scientology. Okay. The Dead Baby Bicycle Club is a club mostly of bike messengers. And they have a downhill race every year where bike messengers from all over come and do this downhill race and they end at this uh, warehouse type place underneath the West Seattle Bridge. One, two, three, go! That was awesome. Next stop, Vashon, Washington, where the Moped Army had their third annual barbecue. Let's check it out.
kind of like some, some sort of like tongue in cheek in the whole ordeal and like the whole sure I mean swarm and destroy <laughs> I, I gotta admit there's some there's some tongue in cheek in that but we, I think I think it's like tongue in cheek that we've come to take very seriously Next year.